got some varsity volleyball for you here tonight. We are looking forward to this one. It should be a good one as the teams get ready to get set. You are watching the Cadet Student Network. My name is Tom Eichwald, and I will be bringing you the game tonight here on CSN. Very honored to do so. And as we get set for this one, we want to thank a number of our sponsors for making tonight possible, and especially uh, as we get set for the opening of this one, I want to thank Mr. Tim Kylo, who makes all of this possible. He is our presenting sponsor on CSN. We're incredibly grateful for his support. So from all of us at CSN, thank you to Mr. Kylo for making this broadcast possible. And down there in the CBC huddle, you got Sam Vassell getting the cadets fired up. And this is a vocal group. If there is one thing you can say about them, they love making a little bit of noise. And as the teams take the court, we'll get you the starting lineup in just a second. Starting for the cadets. We have up front Sam Vassell alongside him, Tommy Oxman, Kyle Broniak. And in the back line for the cadets tonight, that is Michael Kilker and John Borgmeyer. And not sure who else we have back there. We're missing a number on the roster. So for the, cadet, uh, for the uh, Red Devils tonight, and starting in the front line, as we get set here, we have number three, Jimmy Mullen. We have number 21. That is Tim Steele. And in the back, you have Owen Thomason, Clayton Trentham, the Libero tonight. You also have number seven. That is Joe Goering. And in this near side, I believe you have number one, Jacob Dreyer. And we are get set to go. This is John Borgmeyer with the opening serve tonight. And it's a good one. It's in a little bit of a miscommunication there between Trentham and Thomason. And it is 1-0 in favor of the cadets. Now, if you were here tonight, you would have seen a thriller with the JV teams going at it right before this. CBC down uh, by several. I believe that at one point they were down about six or seven. Uh, right at the very end, they came back and won the first game and then won the second to close out the match. So well done to the JV Cadets. Varsity looking to continue the sweep here. And Borgmeyer's serve a better one. Thomason, and this is going to be slammed in by Dreher. A little bit of touch. The Cadets get it back over, though. And another set here for Dreher. Bumps it over this time. They broke clears. This is going to be hit by Broniak. And that is good right in front of the feet of Owen Thomason. So Broniak puts it 2-0 in favor of the cadets. And Borgmeyer still with the serve here. Another good one. Dug out by the Libero, and this one is missed. A little bit of a missed time there with Tim Steele. But they are going to get Chaminade anyway. Looks like he uh, kind of double touched it. Borgmeyer again. This time it crashes into the net, and the Red Devils are on the board. So three to one, and the opening serve will go to number 33. This is Clayton Trentham for the Red Devils. He's going to put this one in. Taken by the Cadets. Going to be slammed by Vassal right into the arms of the block. Good block from Chaminade. CBC is able to rebound, though. And there it is played over by Michael Kilker. Dumped in. Kilker again digs. This time Borgmeyer and Broniak. 
Good block there from Trentham Nalibero and against Sam Vassell this time for the Cadets. So a very positive start for the Cadets. This has to be what you're looking for in a conference game right off the bat. Really take it to your opponent, but obviously there is a lot left to play. Now on the serve is Tommy Oxman, the junior. Oxman serve, Thomason, and that is tipped over nicely, and point goes to Chaminade. That was Michael G. who put that one over. Nice job by Michael. And the serve this time will go to Jimmy Mullen, the number three for the Red Devils. Goes through his routine. He's got permission to go, and here we go. Soft one, Kilker digs. Broniak slams it, but it looks like he might have gotten a tip on the net. So that is going to go to Chaminade. Encouragement from the CBC coach, Tom Young. That happens. Good coaching from Young. He is up, he is active, and he is vocal. Four to three in favor of the cadets as things stand. This one played over. And here we get the kill. There's a block. And played over by G. Borgmeyer gets a hand to it. Broniak. Vassal, one-on-one -on -one with G. Vassal won it. Chaminade not able to get it back over. Eventually they do. A little frantic, but good from the Red Devils. Tommy Oxman's spike. Again dug out. Thomason back in the middle. Trentham's got some work to do here. He does it well. Kilker. And Vassal off the hands of Thomason. Ball played up off the hoop. Trentham out back over. Now Oxman. Vassal wants it again, but instead it goes out wide. Good dig by Trentham. That is why he wears a different colored shirt. Now this time coming from Broniak again, and he touches the net again. No, he did not. They're going to give that one to the Cadets, and it will be 5-3. Again, a positive start from the Cadets. They'll look to keep that going. Sam Vassal with the serve right now for the Cadets. And Vassal serve. Soft one right in the middle. And that time the spike came from number 18, Eric Masson. Cadets deal with it, get it back over, and another one for Masson. Good block from, that was Vassal and Chris Preuss. And now Broniak with the slam off the foot of Jimmy Mullen, can't control it, and the Cadets go up six to three. So a three point lead for the Cadets, as Sam Vassal has options of which ball to use. Ball boy's in good form tonight. Played back over, and that one is in. And that is Broniak again. Kyle Broniak really having himself a good game on the attack early. And 7-3 is now the lead. Vassal still with the serve. Puts it in. We're going to get an infraction from Shamana. It looks like it's on number one, Jacob Dreyer. Might have stepped out, and now we have another serve and another point to the cadets. This time he takes Braden Benty up on the offer of a new ball. And puts it over. This is the slam coming from, ooh. Soft touch from Dreyer. The cadets handle it well. Borgmeyer. And it's going to be Vassals. He calls it. Nice job of being vocal by Sam Vassal. And that's played over by G. Borgmeyer. The dig. Oxman with the set. And they're going to give that to Chaminade. Looked like it might have been a lift. And we are going to get a timeout for the Red Devils. So with a timeout in the first game, it is 9-3 in favor of the Cadets. Very good start. Folks, we mentioned him at the top of the broadcast, but are you protected? Call State Farm agent and CBC alum Tim Kylo for all your insurance needs. Tim is more than just the best insurance guy in town. He's also the presenting sponsor of CSN, and we are incredibly grateful for his support. Call Tim at 314-842-4442 or send him an email, Tim, at timkylo, that's K-I-L-O, dot com. Also want to let you know, if you haven't visited our friends at Kenrick's Meats and Catering, you will want to do that. Stop in for steaks, roasts, burgers, brats, delicious deli trays. The folks at Kenrick's have it all. I know it's grilling season. Got to grill over the weekend. Got a little sunburn in the action, but uh, it was worth it. And if you stop in at Kenrick's, it will definitely be worth it. Check them out in South County and Weber Road. Joe the Butcher and his crew are always slicing up something special. You can learn more at www.kenrick's.com. You can also give them a call, 314-631-2440, and go see our friends at Kenrick's. Vassal again with the serve. And that is in. Over the top of everybody and heads and hands very much for the uh, Red Devils. Sam Vassal is fired up. 
Uh, he was very vocal. He was sitting down on the bench during the JV game before this, and he was extremely vo vocal trying to get the JV boys fired up, and he's doing the same with his teammates tonight. That one is played over. There's the dig G with the kill. And, but it's out. And the Cadets' lead increases to eight. It is 11 to three. Still, Sam Vassell. He's getting himself a permanent gig back there, it feels like. And this time, Masson puts it out. Now it is Eric Masson serving it out. So 12 to three. And uh, really getting to be gut check time for Chaminade. Obviously, there's a lot of volleyball to play. So you really have to keep yourself in this one. You know, you may lose the first game, but whatever happens, you got to draw some sort of positive out of it. You do not want to go in with no positive whatsoever to take out of that first game. Then you feel deflated and it gets out of hand from there. And we get another one in CBC's favor. 13-3 to now. Vassal yet again. And played over. Vassal this time on the defensive end. Borgmeier. Oxman. And a good spike by Oxman. That is played out. That was Owen Thomason who couldn't quite hang on to it. And now Vassal still getting his teammates fired up. He's going to put it in with a lead of 14 to 3, just barely over the net. And Masson, this is G over the net. Price's spike is met that time by Thomason. Thompson doing a nice job defensively, but can't quite get it over the net. Little team huddle there for Chaminade. Again, time to get this figured out. Cannot let this keep going at this rate. 15 to 3 now. You know who's serving. Barely over the net, right in the middle. And G's spike. And the block was up there. I think Price was the one who got his hand to it. But that is going to go Chaminade's way as it went out of bounds. And finally, Chaminade able to force a side out here. With the serve here, Jacob Dreyer for the Red Devils. He puts it in. And Borgmeier to Oxman. Oxman, good slam right off the right shoulder of Dreyer. And just like that, CBC back with the ball and a 16-4 lead. We are here in the first game. Again, you're joining us here on CSN. Glad to have you with us. And I'm sure you're glad to be here if you're a Cadets fan at the moment. And this one played all the way across. Good block there. But a second bite at the cherry was Michael Gavain. And he's able to put that one away. So 16 to 5 now. Shamnad starting to find something. And with the serve, this is G. Borgmeier sets Price on the spike. Well met. By the front line of Chaminade, miscommunication there, and that's the kind of thing you have to avoid. Backing away from it was Michael Gavain. I'm not sure if somebody called it and didn't come for it. Can't quite hear with this headset on. But uh, they're talking to each other now, trying to get that figured out. And here's the serve. Played back in front. And that one is in. That was a nice touch from Tim Steele. And now 17-6. Still a pretty heavy task in front of Chaminade in this first game. But they're showing the signs that their coaching staff and their fans will want to see. Here's the serve. Kisker digs. Oxman's going to take a swing at it. That is just out. Oxman's last few spikes have been from a lot deeper. So uh, that one was the exact same as most of them, except he's starting closer to the net, so it goes farther away. A little adjustment needs to be made, but I'm sure Tommy will make it. Not only a very good volleyball player, but an excellent student. As his advisor, I wish I could take credit, but I can't. Here's the spike. Well met by Chaminade. This one is going back in, and Gavain. Kisker's able to take it, and a good touch from John Borgmeyer. Very composed. He's able to flip it back toward his back shoulder and find a little dead spot in the Chaminade defense. So 18-7 to now. For the cadets, Vassal comes back in. Preuss goes out. Front line now of Borgmeier, Oxman, and Vassal. And that is Kilker with the ace. Miscommunication again from Chaminade. I think we're starting to see a theme here. And if you are Chaminade, you need to get these communication issues figured out. 
There you go, back in the middle by Gavain and over by Goering. Oxman authoritatively, but well blocked there by Mullen. And that's played over Trentham. Mullen. Back over, met by Broniak. Vassal. Good defense there from Dreyer. And a nice little touch over. Nifty, really, from Jimmy Mullen. And the Cadets can't quite block it and keep it in. So 19-8 to eight now in favor of the Cadets. Again, this is the first game of this varsity tie between conference rivals. Serve coming in from Owen Thomason. Vassal. And he puts it in. So Vassal makes it 20 to 8. And the Cadets, again, maintaining the pressure here. And this one is rolled back. This will be Borgmeyer on the serve. Borgmeyer started out the game with the serve, so we're back. We've gone around. Toss it up. Good hit. That is in. Thomason hits it off the basketball hoop. And impressive adjustments there from Chaminade, able to keep it in. Tommy Oxman slams, and a good block from Mullen and Tim Steele. So Chaminade not giving up. Cadets really got out to a big lead there. Chaminade's been playing them pretty evenly, I have to say. And I, I wasn't really keeping track of the points, but I got to imagine the last 10 points or so, 10, 15 points have been pretty, pretty even. Maybe 10 points, we'll say. And this one played across Broniak. Touched over by G. And he finds a weak spot for the Cadets. Just like that, the Red Devils are in the double digits, 20 to 10. The score here in the first game. And serving for the Red Devils is the Libero, Clayton Trentham. It's a good one. Met by his counterpart, Oxman over. Trentham sets. And this is going to come to Dreher. Puts it right into the face of Tommy Oxman. Good block. Not much you can do about it, though. And it will go to Chaminade. So 20 to 11. The lead is now single digits for these cadets. Trentham. And not able to get it across. You don't need that if you're a Chaminade. Got a little momentum going. You don't want to let it off. Meanwhile, for the cadets, I think, you know, conversely, you got to settle down. You've, you, you came out flying. Uh, you looked really sharp. All of a sudden, you're in a game, and you have to really adjust. We'll see how these cadets do it. Here's Oxman's serve. Dreyer, that's blocked by Vassal. This one is G, and that is out at the back. Starting to see those communication issues start to get solved by Chaminade. They're talking to each other in between points, but they're starting to talk during points as well. You're not seeing those big dead spots. Uh, you're not really seeing that ball dropping in between a bunch of guys looking at each other. So these are good signs for the Red Devils. Again, we talked about taking some positive out of this first game, even if, you know, as the, the odds would suggest, Oxman slam is going to go to Chaminade. There was an infraction there. Even if this first game does go to CBC, as a Chaminade team, you're going to have to take a positive, and I think they can. They got hit in the mouth early. They came back. They've responded. They built a little bit of momentum. They've got their communication figured out. They got a couple players really stepping up. Trentham is stepping up. He's looking impressive. Uh, G has been pretty good. So a lot to take positively out of this first game for Chaminade, no matter what happens here. And there's the spike, well met by Chaminade. Played back over by Vassal, Trentham. And Masson can't quite get it over. And that makes it 23 to 12 for the Cadets. And we get a substitution here as Goldcamp comes in. Preuss is gonna take a break. So that is William Goldcamp checking in for the Cadets. And Vassal with the serve. Had a good long run last time. G sets for Trentham. Trentham over. Borgmeyer set from Oxman. Nope. And that is going to be an infraction against Oxman. And we'll get a change. And a side out here. Serve going to number one, Jacob Dreyer. Dreyer serve, 10 point deficit, 23-13. Set, Broniak has been quiet lately. He gets blocked there, it was a good block by Gavain. Oxman now. Good talk and that's not gonna clear it. Oh, impressive reflexes there by G. 
There's the spike and well met. The cadets match with the reflexes. Oxman plays it over. Dreher is going to be a set to Masson. Met by Oxman. Back for Tommy Oxman, right where he likes it, right in the middle. And that one is played up, miscommunication. Goldcamp can't get it. And 23 to 14. Again, you're starting to see a lot more animation on the Chaminade side of the net, and that is going to carry over into the second game. So if you are CBC, you really want to put this game away as quickly as possible. You cannot allow that momentum to keep building against a conference rival. Broniak, there it is. That's what's been missing. They haven't been able to find him. He's back out on that wide position now, that uh, pin position, and that is uh, very important for the cadets as he goes back to serve. Uh, you really want to get Kyle Broniak involved in the offense. Here's the serve. And that is out. So 24 to 15. We have a game point here still. And Michael G with the serve. Here it comes. Right at Oxman. Borgmeyer. Kilker's able to get it over. Not pretty, but effective. Ball played over for Kilker. Kilker digs. Here's the set. Goldcamp can't tip it over. Oxman. And something got lost there between Oxman and Borgmeyer, the junior and the sophomore. And that is going to go out 24 to 16. Just like that, it's an eight-point game. Closest it's been in quite a while. Serve comes in. Kilker, Borgmeyer. There's the spike, and that is going to do it. So the first game goes in favor of the Cadets. And as we switch ends, it will be Cadets 24. I'm sorry, Cadets 25 and Red Devils 16, the score of the first game. So that is official. And while we have a minute, if you are a fan of CSN and even of this broadcast, you have definitely heard us mention our friend State Farm agent and CBC alum Tim Kylo. Tim's a grad of CBC, takes great care of us here at the Cadets Student Network. Find Tim on Twitter by searching at Risk Agent. That's at Risk Agent, and give him a follow. Join us all year as we thank Tim on Twitter. Welcome back to the booth here at DC Wilcut Gymnasium. You are watching Cadet Volleyball here on the Cadet Student Network. My name is Tom Eichwald. I am bringing you the game tonight. We do want to let you know that the Cadet Student Network is a student-led broadcasting initiative. We want to thank John Rolfe for all his work getting the broadcast together tonight. we got Mr. Randy Gardner over filming water polo today over at the Principia. So nice job by John in getting everything set up and running it and uh, it's running smoothly. So we want to thank him, as well as all the students behind the scenes who make these CSN broadcasts possible. And as we get set for the second game here, Cadets are up to a one-game advantage. Got out to a really early lead, a good strong early lead, but they were and they were able to hold it off, but not able to hold back Chaminade for a while. They had a good go at it, got all the way up to 16. So uh, it really, you know, the second half of that game was really quite even, to be honest with you. Once CBC, I mean, the difference is one long run. So be interesting to see Chaminade with the momentum. CBC maybe a little bit, uh, I don't want to say shell shock, probably too strong of a word. But uh, maybe a little bit reeling from some of the uh, uh, some of the offense that Sham I'm sorry, some of the defense really that Chaminade was able to put on the kind of stymium in the second half of that game. But in this one, it is 0-0. We are getting set. It'll be Trentham with the first serve for the Red Devils. And one roster clarification, also number two, Eric Eisenbath, not listed on the roster here. So I want to give Eric credit for a good first game. And as we get set, here's Trentham serve. And finds Oxman with the dig, and this is over to Matt Costa, who hammers it away. Nice job by Matt. So the Cadets again take the lead at the start of this one, and serving first, I believe will be John Borgmeyer. Same as first game. And the whistle goes. He has permission. Hammers it across. Might have been going out. Trentham not taking any chances, though. And this is going to be played back over by Goering. Now Costa, Trentham. Over G, over to... And that is out. That was Jacob Dreher uh, going for it. It was a nice uh, attempt at the corner. It's pretty close. The line judge actually had to j hop out of the way of that one. 
And so it is 2-0 to the Cadets again. Borgmeier with the serve. Trentham. G. And nice dive there from Kilker. Doesn't feel good on the floor. But the point goes to the, the Red Devils of Chaminade. And now on the serve is Jimmy Mullen. So Mullen with the serve. 2-1 game here in this second game. And the Cadets winning the first. Wanting to put it away in two. That one goes over. Borgmeier for Vassal. And Vassal is unable to keep it in bounds. A little too much power on it. And we have an even game at two. This is the first time it's been tied. Uh, well, the first game, uh, it wasn't tied after 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, this one's starting off a lot more evenly. This one is played over by Mullen. Kilker. Borgmeier for Costa. Costa with a little bit of touch, but uh, not able to keep it in. And that is a point to Chaminade. Chaminade now has their first lead of the night. So by 3-2, to two, Chaminade with the lead. Again, they appear to have uh, worked through some of those uh, communication issues we saw early. They're starting to find uh, the court a little bit with those uh, spikes. Things looking much better for Chaminade at the start of the second. Broniak. And by contrast, Broniak was sharp earlier in the first game, and he hammers it right in the middle of the net there. Probably not the best contact he's ever made. But uh, it is now a two-point lead in favor of the Devils. Here is Mullen. Kilker. Kilker, Oxman, Costa over, Trentham. And Oxman again, Borgmeier for Broniak. And there it is. Nice job by Thomason to keep it in. Trentham's going to play it over. And Kilker, Borgmeier, Vassal. And that is a good block by Michael G. Broniak unable to keep it in. So 5-2. to two. Chaminade starting to really find it here. So 5-2, to two, and again the serve to Jimmy Mullen. And now Borgmeier sets for Matt Costa. I think that caught Jacob Dreyer a little unaware. And it will be a side out, and it looks like Costa will have the serve. So 5-3, to three, Cadets trailing. Hasn't been the case for too long tonight. And Costa puts a pretty good slam on it. And Masson, by contrast, unable to connect. So just like that 5-4, these cadets do not like trailing. So back to a one-point game, and Costa again with the serve. And that one is not going to stay in. And it will go to number one, Jacob Dreyer for Chaminade. And here is Dreyer's serve, 6-4 to score. And it's going to be Broniak. And another good block by Michael G. Michael G. really starting to impose himself at the front there. If they can keep uh, him there, he's going to be tough to beat. You're going to have to go to some of those touch shots. Problem with the touch shot is that you have Trentham, who's an excellent Libro, playing him behind him right now. Case in point. So it's going to be tough to beat him, even if you can get it past G. That time it does go to the Cadets. And the serve this time will be Sam Vassell. Likes that serve just right in the middle of everybody. 7-5 to five, the score in favor of the Red Devils. Trentham. There's the set. Gavain off the fingertips at the front. Costa unable to keep it in. And that is a three-point lead now for Chaminade, their biggest lead of the night. And now serving is Michael G. The good news for the Cadets is he's no longer in the front row on the net. And that's slammed by Oxman. Tipped at the net and gathered by G at the back. And that is long. So it'll be Cadets serve again. And the lead is cut to two, eight to six. Very even game here in this second game. This is a bit more what I thought it would be coming into this one. You don't usually see MCC rival schools just trounce each other, so you figure it was going to even out at some point, and it certainly has, and it should settle into a pretty good evening of volleyball. Here's Joe Kurtz. And 
that is a spike from number 21, Tim Steele. That is out of bounds, goes in favor of the Cadets. One point game again, eight to seven. And now Kurtz again with the chance to tie it up. Serve, it's a good one, finds Trentham. And Spike again gonna go to Gavain. And unable to gather it, he's kind of right between Oxman and Kilker. And so the lead is back to two for Chaminade. Nine to seven. And this time serving Eric Masson for the Red Devils. Couple vigorous bounces and a good serve. Oxman miss hits it. And the Cadets unable, that's a little bit sloppy. The Cadets unable to get that one back over. And back to a three point lead. Cadet fans, do you know a grade school student who might be a future cadet? Please encourage him to pay us a visit and experience CBC for himself. Contact our admissions office, 314-985-6095. And, and call uh, Melissa Ryan at 318-314-985-6095. Uh, That's what happens when you try to read something and watch dot, or, uh, volleyball at the same time. You can schedule a tour of CBC or a shadow visit. Don't forget that seventh grade shadowing is now available. Just call Melissa Ryan and spend a day with us and experience what CBC is all about. Eric Masson again. Oh. They're going to get Borgmeier there. So it is 11 to 7. Four points. We get a timeout. I believe called by CBC there just to kind of check in and figure out what's going on. Now is the time to do justice to our admissions department. Uh, we always love having our, our visitors, our shadows, our, our tours. So please call the admissions office, 314-985-6095. Also, hopefully you don't have to make this call, but if you do need an attorney, you want someone you can count on to protect your legal rights. The attorneys at Millican Wright are here for you. Brian Millican and CBC grad Chris Wright have fiercely represented the injured and accused in civil and criminal cases in the St. Louis metropolitan area for more than 15 years. Call Brian and Chris at 314-621-0622 or find Millican Wright online at www.millicanwright.com. Millican Wright will fight for you. And the timeout is over. CBC really needing a rally here. Again, I said that Chaminade had a real gut check moment about halfway through that first game. I think CBC has reached that moment here. The lead only five here, but it's in a game that you had in your grasp in the first one, so you really need to figure it out here. And again, a little bit different group out there. You got uh, Costa out there, you got Kurtz out there. But at the same time, CBC really needs to kind of uh, get back in this one, not really let Chaminade think they can have this. Borgmeier for Preuss, and Preuss kills it. That is impressive. Past the outstretched Jacob Dreher. And it'll be a serve for Tommy Oxman. The lead back to four. Here's Oxman. Met by Trentham. And here's Gavain. Good block there from Preuss and Borgmeier. That's good team defense, and the lead is back to three. Whatever happened in that timeout, it appears to be effective at least so far. Oxman again. Borgmeier for Costa. Costa, good block there from Chaminade. But that is going to go out. So it is the Red Devil point and back to four. Got a pretty good back and forth going here. The serve this time will go to number seven, Luke Goering. Correction number eight, Owen Thomason. And he's unable to clear the net. So now is it Kilker for the Cadets. And a three-point lead for the Red Devils. Kilker's serve finds Trentham. There's the set. Good defense by Costa. It's played back up. Trentham over finds Kilker. Kilker with the set. Borgmeier, Costa. Good block again. Borgmeier tips it over. Trentham diving. Unable to get it over in three. Good uh, defense there from Trentham. But a little bit unlucky. It hits the net. Not much you can do about that. But you got to credit Costa for the defense on that play as well as for the spike. So 13 to 11. Two point game here for the Cadets. Kilker. Over this is Dreher. 
Strayer met by Preuss and Vassal. Borgmeier, Oxman, and that is off the fingertips of Goering, so that is going to be a cadet point. Oh, correction, I believe we had an infraction there, so it's 14-11. So Trentham, Oxman, Borgmeier, Costa, good tip from Costa, and that is in. Unless somebody crossed the line, and that appears to be the case. 15-11, not going CBC's way right now are the breaks. It's got to be frustrating if you're the cadets. Come out of the timeout, get a couple quick points, and then the lead goes right back to four. And that one, again, you talk about getting breaks, that thing rode the whole net all the way down. I mean, it climbed and climbed down slowly on the other side so it didn't get hurt. There's Trentham with the serve again. 16-11, five-point lead, the biggest of the night for Chaminade. Kilker, Borgmeier. Costa, good uh, spike from Costa. That's what you need from your leadership. And Costa, the senior. Definitely one of the leaders on the team. And Coach Young, you can probably hear him telling his boys, be louder, talk to each other. Communication. And Borgmeier with the serve. Four-point lead for Chaminade. That's off a couple of Red Devils. Trentham can't get it back over. Just like that, the cadets have a point. Now just a three-point lead for Chaminade. Borgmeier with the serve again. G met by Kisker, or Kilker. And Oxman slams, but that's going to go to Chaminade. Looked like, again, somebody crossed the net. And it will be 17 to 13. The lead's still four. No matter what CBC does, they can't seem to erase this lead for long. Got to be said, well done to the Red Devils. Borgmeier, Costa. And Matt Costa's really growing into this game. He's taking CBC on his shoulders. And if they're going to get back into this game, Costa's need to, going to be keep, he is going to need to keep doing exactly what he's doing. And he's doing it with power. Costa. G. Trentham over. Borgmeier. Gilker. Broniak getting back involved. You can see a little applause from him. Got to feel good. He hit the net a couple times earlier. He was kind of struggling a little bit there, but I think he found it. You can see his body language change instantly as soon as he connected with that one. Two-point lead now for Chaminade. Again, CBC with a one-game advantage if you're just joining us. One twenty-five to 16 in the first game. Oxman digs, Borgmeier, Oxman over. And that is a miscommunication again for Chaminade at a bad time because that means it is only a one-point game. Just to finish the point, CBC won the first game 25-16. Uh, he, they, they got up to a big lead early. Chaminade battled back a little bit, but CBC maintained a gap, and the second game has been very even. Costa into the net. So Trentham let off the hook for that uh, little bit of miscommunication at the other end by Costa hitting the net. So it is back to a two-point lead. And if you're the Cadets, you want to win this game, you can't be making mistakes like that in situations like that. That's a big momentum shift, potentially. But we'll see how these teams respond. Borgmeier. Oxman, Trentham, right in the middle of everybody. Nice job by Mullen of actually getting that over. And Costa again, and it's correction, Oxman that time. So he's pinching in here. These outside hitters for CBC have been the difference in the last few minutes. Again, that's a big one because we talked about possible momentum. Chaminade makes a mistake, you make a mistake, let him off the hook. But Tommy Oxman doing what he can to get momentum back in the favor of the purple and gold. And that one is played over off the net, but also off of a cadet. So a two-point lead. CBC still can't quite erase the deficit. 19-17 to the Red Devils. And they will be desperate to try to force a third game here. Michael G with the serve. Borgmeier, Oxman off of G. Back over. Costa watches it hit the line. Not much he could have done about that. 
And that is a bad break again. And just like that, 20 to 17 is the score. So Chaminade five points away from that second, that uh, third game. I think if you had told them about five minutes into this match that they'd be five points away from forcing a third game, they would have taken it in a heartbeat. And that one is slammed by Oxman again. And again, that outside position for the cadets comes good. I think that's been the difference uh, when the cadets have been firing. It's been from those wide positions. It's been from Oxman, it's been from Broniak, and it's been from Costa. Broniak's going to get a little breather and some high fives. And Joe Kurtz is going to get a serve. Two-point lead for the Chaminade. And that one's played over. O or Costa, Borgmeier, Oxman. Ops for touch instead of power. Played back over. Here's Kilker. Borgmeier sets. And Chris Preuss right down the throat of Dreyer. And it is a one-point game again, 20-19. to 19. The Cadets not going away here. Now the pattern of the game so far would mean Chaminade's going to score a couple here and get back to that two, three-point cushion. But we will see if that continues. Here's Kurtz. Trentham. Way back over. Gavain misjudges it a little bit. And the Cadets have erased the deficit. So it is 20-20. And if you are the Cadets, it's basically a new start. It's a 0-0 game to five, essentially. Now Kurtz. Played over off of Kurtz again. And it's a one-point lead for Chaminade. So 21 to 20 here in the second game. Chaminade now just four points away. And here's Masson with the serve. Costa, Borgmeier, Oxman. Good slam from Austin, from Oxman. And Jacob Dreher, not much he could do about that. He did get a hand on it, but you got no control when that thing's coming at you that fast. So 21-21. Chaminade tries to take a lead. CBC answers. This is going to be a good few minutes here, folks. Don't go anywhere. Oxman with the serve. Dreher. Over. Price. Gavain. Met by Oxman. Borgmeier sets. Costa couldn't quite get up for that one. And that's played over. Tipped by CBC. It was in anyway. That appeared to be Tim Steele putting that one over. Nice job by Tim Steele. And Chaminade has a lead again. 22-21. Both coaches encour encouraging their players, saying this game's out there for the taking, so go take it. Here's Thomason. Over for Kilker. Borgmeier slammed by Preuss. Good defense, though, by Chaminade. Costa hits the net. And you don't want to see mistakes like that. All of a sudden, two-point lead. Chaminade just two points away from closing this out, this game at least. That would force a third game. Again, if CBC wins here, this match is over. And we're going to get a timeout here. That's the second. is called by CBC. Cadet fans, are you protected? Call State Farm agent and CBC alum Tim Kylo for all your insurance needs. Tim is more than just the best insurance guy in town. He's also the presenting sponsor of CSN, and we are incredibly grateful for his support. Call Tim at 314-842-4442 or send him an email, Tim Kylo at, I'm sorry, Tim at timkylo.com. Also, you may want to know that CBC legend Larry Hughes has opened a D1 Basketball Academy. This is a program that offers grade school boys and girls a chance to develop basketball skills on the court and leadership skills they will use for the rest of their lives. If your son or daughter loves to play, check out Larry Hughes D1 Basketball Academy. You can find him online at d1basketballstl.com. Now we're wrapping up this timeout here. Both teams taking the floor again. 23-21 is the score in favor of Chaminade here in the second game. It's been very, very back and forth. Actually, since the first, I don't know, maybe 14, 15 points of this game, it has been almost dead even. And that one played back over. That one goes to CBC, so back to a one-point lead. Big point right here. You can either tie it up 
or have match point. And play back in Kilkers. The one with the serve here. Rule number one, just get it over. There it is. And play it up. This is going to be Dreher. Good block from, uh, that was Borgmeier and Vassal. This time that's Steele. Costa sets, Borgmeier, Oxman. And that is tipped by, no, it is not tipped by Chaminade. That is going to be a Chaminade point. So here it is, game point. 24-20, 24-22. And this is Clayton Trentham. Dug by Oxman, Borgmeier, Costa. That one's played over. CBC point. And that's a carry. So 24-23. Another big one. It is still a game point here. If you want to end it in the second game, you got to fight back here for CBC. This one's going to go to Dreyer. And there it is. CBC ties it at 24. So now it is even. CBC looking to close this match out if they can. And we get a timeout called by Chaminade. That is their first. So during this timeout, you got to imagine both coaches just telling their players, settle down, this is why you play volleyball. For Chaminade, you guys are playing great, keep it up. They got a couple in there, but you are still the better team in this game, get after it. And if you are CBC, you're saying, let's do it here. Let's not force another third game. Let's be focused. Two more points. Let's close it out. We mentioned earlier, but uh, in case you missed that, or just in case you haven't been convinced, you really do need to go visit our friends at Kenrick's Meats and Catering. Stop in for steaks, roasts, burgers, brats, delicious deli trays. All of this is making me hungrier while I read it. The folks at Kenrick's have it all. Check them out in South County on Weber Road. Joe the Butcher and his crew are always slicing up something special. So if you want to make yourself hungrier, go to www.kenricks.com. You can also give them a call at 314-631-2440 and go see our friends at Kenrick's. This is Borgmeier with the serve. 24-24, second game. It's going to go to Dreyer. Dreyer tips it over. Costa, G. Off the foot and of Gehring, and that all of a sudden means match point for CBC. It is 25 to 24. The Cadets with the chance to close this thing out, and Borgmeier with the chance to do it. Borgmeier serves. Trentham. Dreyer. That is off the hands of Vassal. So it's 25-25. This has turned into quite a game here. We are back even. Serving for the Red Devils. Number three, Jimmy Mullen. Substitutions are made, and here is Mullen with the serve. Kilker, Borgmeier, Costa. And that is not tipped, but out of bounds. So now it's match, or I'm sorry, game point. To Chaminade, they can force the third game. And it's Mullen again. Kilker, Borgmeier, Broniak does get it over. And that is CBC's point, so it is back to even. We are tied at 26 here in this second game. This has been quite a treat. And it's really showing no signs of ending here. Commentator's curse notwithstanding. Costa. And Thomason meets it. Masson plays it over. Costa again. Borgmeier over. Tommy Oxman gets the cadets back to match point. Good spike from Tommy Oxman. So 27-26 in favor of the cadets. And the ball now in the hands of Matt Costa. He's got a chance to end this thing. Costa serve. Thomason, Trentham. Masson back over. Costa, Borgmeier. It's going to be Oxman with a chance to close it out. And he can't put it over. Of course. This game can't end. 
Not yet, anyway. It's not done entertaining us. 27-27. We're tied up again. This time the serve will be Dreher. And as the teams get set, we got a whistle and we have a serve. That one is over. Met by Kilker. Borgmeier. Vassal. That is long. No, it was tipped. That one was tipped, so that is a cadet point and again match point. This time the ball in the hands of Sam Vassal. Thomason coming in, replacing Gavain. And we're set to go. Vassal serve. Right in the middle where it always is. Thomason, G, pokes it over, and of course, of course we're still going here in the second game. Borgmeier can't get to it. Good composure from Michael G to be able to just find a soft spot. And it will be the same, Michael G, with the serve. 28-28. Tips the net, goes over. Costa plays it over, and that is long from Tim Steele. That's a frustrating one for Steele. And it means that CBC will have match point yet again. And they don't have yet as a server. There we go. It is going to be Joe Kurtz. Go back there, the sophomore. Trying to put this one away. Match point. Trentham. Back up. Dreyer over. Barely. Preuss. Borgmeier. Oxman. Blocked. Kilker. Oxman. Kilker over again. Good defense from Kilker there. Here's Gavain. Blocked. And that is out. So it goes to Chaminade, and they're back level at 29. We are still going here in this second game. And I don't know about you, but it's a lot of fun up here in the Tim Kylo broadcast booth watching this one. Based on the looks of some of the spectators, uh, fun might not be the emotion, might be stress. And Borgmeier, Preuss, that one is over. So 30-29 again, match point for CBC. Whatever happens, you got to admire the resolve of Chaminade to keep coming back in these match point situations. CBC has had the lion's share. And Chaminade has answered every single time. This time it's Tommy Oxman with the serve. 30 to 29. Match point again. Trentham. Gavain. Oxman. Oxman over. Mullen. Gavain. Block. And there it is. That is the ceiling block. John Borgmeier puts it away. So by the score of 31 to 29, the second game here at DC Wilcott Gymnasium finally ends. What a game it was, and what a match. Again, the Cadets jumped out to a huge early lead in that first game, which proved insurmountable despite a comeback effort from Chaminade. And they went into the second game. Chaminade got out to a lead. The CBC was chasing. It looked like it was slipping away from them, to be honest. And they're able to battle back, erase a deficit, then it's Chaminade's turn to show resolve and battle back as they fight off point, match point after match point after match point. But finally, the cadets prove too much. And you got to say, really, a lot of players for the cadets looked impressive tonight. Uh, it was, you know, Costa came in in that second game, uh, made a difference. You have uh, some great uh, uh, spikes by uh, Preuss over there. Uh, Borgmeier, really, really good defensively. Got to say, though, Tommy Oxman over and over again stepped up for the cadets. So very impressive team win for the cadets. And that is going to do it. So by a final score of two games to nothing, first game 25-16, second game 31-29, the cadets are the victors in this conference showdown here at the D.C. Wilcutt Gymnasium. That's going to do it for us. We want to thank you for joining us here on CSN. Again, I want to thank uh, John, um, John Rolfe. I just blanked on your name, John. Have we, have we done these broadcasts together before? I don't know. Uh, this is, you know, number 300. So we want to thank John Rolfe for all of his work tonight. And for all of us here at CSN, I'm Tom Eichwald. I want to thank you for joining us, and we'll see you another night.